Today marks the end of one year of Tesla tidbits. On this anniversary show, we talk about the release of Solar Roof, a new EV startup, and the loss of the inspiration for the Roadster. Here are your Tesla tidbits for May 11th, 2017. Today was the day that Solar Roof was officially released to the world for reservation via Tesla's website. As was discussed before, only two of the four tiles are available. The black smooth and the textured tiles are the tiles available for reservation now. The others will be available next year. The interesting bit, though, is that while when originally announced, Elon mentioned that the Solar Roof would be cheaper than a standard roof install after power savings. He then at one point said he believed it would be cheaper than a standard roof even without the savings. Well, it seems we're heading back to the first position. The tiles will have an infinite warranty, or as long as the life of your house, whichever comes first. Also, a 30-year warranty for both the energy production and weatherization. The roof tiles will also withstand just about anything you can throw at them. They've obtained the best ratings available at hail, wind, and fire resistance, as well as a best-in-class reliability rating for the glass coating. The deposit to get in line is just $1,000, and it seems that you can make this happen outside of the original Solar City areas. When I'd previously put my location in for a Solar City quote, it kindly told me that I wasn't in a service area. When providing my location this time, I got information on how much solar I should install, and no indication that I couldn't order. The form to enter my card information and place my order is available. For me personally, I'd love to have one installed, but that will have to wait until long after Model 3 is sitting in my garage. Electrek brings us news that Tesla co-founder Martin Eberhard has launched a startup EV company called Inevit. Eberhard serves as the chairman and CTO of the company. Based on a trademark file for the company's name, it's clear that vehicles aren't the only thing that the company intends to provide. The application for trademark says that the company wishes to use the name not only for vehicles, but for energy storage as well. Not much more else known about the company at this time, but I'll bring you the news as soon as something comes up. Teslarati brings us some sad news, as the T0 that inspired Elon to create the Roadster is with us no more. A fire at Gruber Motors, where the vehicle was being stored, completely destroyed it sometime last week. This was the last functioning T0 in existence. One other still remains, but is in need of a new battery. For those unfamiliar, the car was built by hand by the company AC Propulsion, which was kind of Tesla before Tesla existed. The company never wanted to commercialize the T0, and so Tesla was born, producing the Roadster. The T0 wasn't the only car that died in the fire. Six Roadsters, a Model S, an EV Smart, and an ACR Viper all perished as well. A super expensive fire from both a history standpoint and a dollar standpoint. Lastly tonight, I had to take a moment to stop and smell the roses a bit. It's been a year of podcasting now, producing 231 shows, including this one. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. We've had a few show misses due to lack of news, but overall, I've been consistent at getting shows out to you each and every weekday. I have to say, I definitely did not see the amount of work involved in creating this show each night when I began, but I'm happy and proud of the little niche I've carved out providing you all the latest Tesla news each weekday. Really, though, the credit goes to all of you out there listening. Thanks first to all my patrons supporting me. You guys are seriously amazing, and I can't thank you enough for all your kind support over the past year. And as always, thanks to everyone that can hear my voice. Whether you've been ride or die since episode one, or have just started listening, I'm sincerely grateful you find my content worth your time. With the thank yous out of the way, I do have one request. I throw it into the show close each week, but I can't overstate it its importance. If you're able, please do subscribe to the show on your medium of choice. It does mean the world, especially on YouTube and iTunes. Having those subscriber counts trending upward helps the show get noticed much easier by new folks. In addition, particularly on iTunes, if you like the show and can spare some kind words, please leave a review, or at least a star review, as that affects how the show is seen there as well. You can find the links to today's full stories in the show description. This show operates on a value-for-value value model. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tibbets. Super thanks to my super patrons, John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, Cookie UK, John Waller, and Mark and Sarah Thomas for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. Lastly today, if you're in the market for a Tesla, you can get yourself $1,000 off while supporting the show and super patron Drew Schuyler by using the referral link ts.la slash andrew1233. That's it for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.